Mornings can be a real murder. <laughs> I love Halloween and I love creating crafts and more than anything I love sharing with you how to create crafts step by step. In this video I will be showing you exactly how to create these DIY funny serial killer bowls. But remember, once you're done with your breakfast, make sure to wash your evidence by hand. Alright guys, who's ready for Halloween? I think I am! So, we're gonna do a quick video tutorial on how to make these cereal killer bowls. Um, I've been seeing them everywhere and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put my own take on these. So I purchased these two SCG files from Etsy. I will leave the link below in case you're interested in them. But I don't really like the cereal bowl here, so I think I'm going to do a couple different things here. I'm going to get rid of the cereal bowl and I'm going to put the handprints behind it. And then I'm also going to find another cereal bowl that I like. I don't really like this. It kind of looks like a soup bowl to me, does it not? And like ladle. So I'm not really liking that one too much. If you like this one, please go ahead and use it. Uh, otherwise, you can try to do it or you can do what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up here to the ungroup button really quick. And I'm gonna get rid of this. I just really do not like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab the serial killer and I'm going to go ahead down here and click the weld button. So before I forget to do anything else, I like to do that first. So I clicked weld so that all this would be uh, together when I cut it out. Now I'm going to go into the images up here and I'm gonna type in cereal bowl or I typed in bowl before. So maybe we'll see what comes up with that. I did find one, but I wanted to show you guys how I find it. So I'm just looking through here and I'm just looking for a regular old cereal bowl. Like I don't like these. They just look like a soup bowl to me. I don't want that in there. You may, but I don't. There was one, oh, right here, this one. This one looks more like a bowl to me, um, but I'm just gonna keep looking. Uh, all this really depends on if you have the yearly or the monthly subscription. As you can see, it says subscribed here. I have the yearly subscription since I use this quite a bit. Uh, but if you do not, you're going to be have to pay for this. So that would be something I would look into definitely if you do not have the yearly or monthly subscription to Design Space. So I have that one image. I'm going to click insert image and then it's going to bring it right here. So here it is a little bit bigger. We're going to make it bigger. Doesn't that one look so much better? I think it looks a lot better. So I'm gonna do this one a couple of different ways. So now I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna get a spoon. So I'm gonna go up to images again and I'm just gonna type in spoon and see what we find here. I'm just looking for a regular old, maybe I could type in tablespoon and see if I can, oh, we'll use this one here. I like this one. So it says, says it subscribes. So we're gonna click on that one. I'm just kind of looking to see, there's another one I'll take and see which one we like better. They look exactly the same to me. <laughs> so we'll use the white one. So you don't have to use a spoon. You can use a spoon, you don't have to, whatever. You can also just flip it, kind of put it in if you want and kind of work through it that way. Like if you wanted to put the spoon in like that. Um, you don't even have to use a spoon. Maybe I won't even use a spoon. We'll make it a little bit smaller, but we gotta have it proportionate, right? You know what? I'm not really liking the spoon. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna work with the bowl. So now I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger to kind of fit here. And since I already welded this together, it's one whole piece, I can grab both of these here. I'm gonna go up to the color box and I'm gonna change it both to black that look kind of a bluish color. And then again, select it all, go up here to a line and then center it. So that will center the bowl for me. So now I can go back and do something with these handprints. I'm not really sure how we should do this. I was thinking I'm making it a little bit smaller. We'll kind of see. And maybe we can, well, my bowls are white, so I don't really want white on white. So I think I'm just gonna take this away for a second. I'm gonna duplicate this right away, so I'm, I'll have two of them in case I screw one up. So I'm gonna put this one down here. I'm gonna take this one and just shrink it up. And you can put these wherever you want them. I mean, you could even put it on here, so you can't see it, but you just gotta go up to range, move to forward, oops, move forward. Did we not do it? There we go, move forward. So there it is. That's kind of cool too. I don't know, I guess it's kind of however you wanna do it. And then I was gonna do this part the same way, but also just use the serial killer and not the bowl. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna duplicate that one as well. And see, now I have this one. So now I can shrink this up. 
and I'm thinking of maybe putting it over here, see what it looks like. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna arrange it and then move forward and see how it looks. Yeah, I don't really like that. I thought that would be kind of neat. Maybe down here, or you could always move them um, away from each other. But I see that they are connected together. So maybe you guys know this, maybe you don't. But since you can't ungroup this and there's no detach button or anything on here, the way you can get rid of this is two ways. You can always grab a shape over here and kind of put a circle over here and go that way. But it looks like I can just go in the contour button. So before I go on the contour button, I'm going to duplicate this so I will have both hands. So I'm going to work with this one, click on the contour button, and I'll show you what this looks like. If you guys are not familiar with this, this is an amazing, amazing button. So here you see your image here. Now I just want to work with one. So I'm going to get rid of everything on the left hand here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on every one of these. And I'm just going to wait a second for my computer to catch up. There we go. And as you can see, when I click them, it goes lighter gray. And that's what you want. That means that it's going away and then you won't see it anymore. But my computer's going a little bit slow. We're going to try to grab this. And most of the time it comes up on the side here. But again, my computer is lagging. I do have four children at home and they are on the internet. So sometimes it doesn't always help. So I'm going to show you that really quick, what it looks like. All right, so here you go. We see we have these two hands here and we still have this. So I missed this part here and this part here just because my computer is lagging. I'm going to show you another way that you can finish this up if you don't want to go to the contour button. Go over here to shapes. You can click whatever shape you want. I'm just going to grab a circle. I'm going to put it right over that. Then I'm going to grab all my images here, slice it. Now we have this hand here and I can get rid of all of that. There you go. See? So we have one here. You could kind of looks the same. I'm trying to see if they just flipped it, which I think I might actually try to do. It looks like it's the same hand, but they just flipped it. We're going to try it. So I have this one here. I'm going to duplicate it again. And we're going to flip it once and see if that's how they did it. So we're going to flip, flip horizontally. I think those little buggers is that's what they did. Yeah. Okay then. Well, this one we don't need. So if you didn't catch that, Instead of going in and cleaning uh, the right hand one, so we have, or actually cleaning the left one, so we have the right one, I just took it and flipped it. They're exactly the same image, but whoever created this just flipped the image. So there we go. Now we have two separate hands. You can do whatever you want with this. You can also, like, put it up here. If we shrink it a little bit, you can go over the words like this, and maybe even tilt it a little bit. So it looks like it's an actual serial killer. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like this one better. But I mean, you can do it that way. Or you can bring them down here. But I kind of like it up here a little bit. But I'm looking at the size. One hand looks a little bit bigger than the other one. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this one. We're going to duplicate this guy. Now he's exactly the same size. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip him. So go to the flip button flip horizontally there now they're exactly the same size so they don't look silly so there there we go wow i really like that so you can go ahead and make your own serial killer words or you can just purchase them off at etsy which i see two ways that's you're helping a local business and you're saving yourself some time without having to go and try to figure out what font this is so i love doing it that way i really love this one not so sure about this one. We'll see how it turns out. The last thing I want to do is just uh, select it all and then change it to the size of your bowl. I actually bought my bowls from uh, Walmart. They are the Better Homes and Gardens one. Uh, it does say dishwasher and microwave safe, but once you put vinyl on it, it is definitely not dishwasher or microwave safe. So if you're going to sell this, please put that on the disclosure that people don't put this in the dishwasher or in the microwave. So what I do is just take a regular green mat and I'm holding it up to my bowl to see how large I want it. So it, roughly mine is going to be eh, two by four maybe, so <laughs> roughly around there. I don't want to go too much over the edge because once you get to the edge, it kind of curves. That didn't sound right. Once you get to the bottom, it curves on the bowl. So I don't want to really get to that curve part. So I'm going to do it. We're going to try a two by three or two by four and kind of see what that looks like. So I have the whole image here. I'm going to go up here. Actually, I'm going to unlock it first and I'm going to change it to three. 
and then we'll try two. Three by two. Well, that's not too bad. I kind of like that, guys. So we're going to do the same thing with this. Grab both images, unlock it, and change it to be three by two. Kind of see how it looks. Wow. Yeah, I like these. I do kind of like the hands like that. I mean, you can move them wherever you want. It doesn't have to be right next to each other, just so you can kind of see the, the cereal behind it. Yeah, I like these. So what I do is I love making doubles or even triples, so then you're not, you know, cutting this out later. So what I'm going to do is select all of it, actually go up here and duplicate it. Now I will have four of them. So I'm going to go to the Make It button, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here it is. Here's my serial killers. So what I like to do is kind of try to organize it a little bit. Leave myself a little bit of room in between that I can get my scissors in there. And then I'll pull these guys over my little bowls. And then I'll look here. And here are my handprints. So this one was together. I'm just going to move it over so we have a little bit of extra room to cut in between. That's up to you if you guys want to do this or not. I always just do it so I have a little bit of scissors room in between each one. So I love how these both look. I'm going to push continue. And if you guys watch my channel and you're subscribers, you know I hate Cricut brand. I'm sorry if you guys like it. I have not had any luck with it. So I buy whatever, you know, was on Amazon. I'll leave my all of my supplies in the description below if you're interested in this. I People ask me about my transfer tape. I absolutely love the... Frisco, I think that's what it's called, transfer tape. I'll leave it in the description below. Um, and then all the other supplies that I use, the scraper, my mats, everything. So in case you're interested in it, I will leave everything down in the description below. So here are my base materials. As I said, I really don't like Cricut. So you can see in here, iron on, heat transfer, non Cricut. Okay, so that's what I always use for my HTV. When I use my regular vinyl or Oracle 651, I always use this stencil vinyl. And the way I found that is I just went into browse material and you can type up here like vinyl or whatever you're going to be using and kind of find it and then put a star by it. So that's all these stars are the ones that I use all the time. So that's how I got these up here. So I'm just going to click stencil vinyl. Don't have to do anything else with this. You just have to get your mat prepared. So I'm going to save time on this video. I'm going to put the trans or the vinyl onto my mat. I'm going to cut it out. I'll weed it out and then I'll show you how to apply it to your bowls. If you guys have any questions about weeding, let me know. I did actually just do a video tutorial uh, showing you an even easier way, guys, to weed. Honest to God, it saved me so much time when I found this tip. Go back. I will leave the description below. Your mind will be blown, I guarantee you. So go and check that one out. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll cut it out, weed it out, and I'll show you the next step. All right, guys, so I finished weeding these out. I did a whole bunch of them because I hate going back and making more, and I know these are going to sell really well. So there are the serial killer ones. Here are the little bowls. And then here are some handprints. I will tell you these handprints were very hard to weed out. I'll show you it really quick. I was having a hard time even with the reverse weed that I show you in a previous video. I will leave that in the description down below. It was still hard just because there's so many little tiny pieces on here. So I have a few cut out right here ready to go. And I'm going to show you one that I already did, which I love it. And I think it turned out absolutely amazing. So serial killer. And then I put the two hand prints right next to each other. So I'm just going to show you it really quick how to do it. So you want to take a bowl. You can take any bowl that you want. I bought these from uh, Walmart. These are the Better Homes and Gardens ones. Uh, you can take this off if you want or leave it on. I'll just take it off for the video really quick. So they are the Better Homes and Gardens one. Uh, it says dishwasher, microwave safe, but again, I would definitely not put this in the dishwasher or microwave after you put your vinyl on. And if you're going to sell it, I would say that in uh, a disclosure for people to know that. So the first thing you want to do is actually clean this off with some alcohol, which I already did and I let it dry. So you want to have a nice clean surface to put it on. And then you want to take a piece of transfer tape, which I love this transfer tape. I buy the really huge roll of it and just cut a slice off. I love this transfer tape because I can use it so many times over and over and over and it's still going to be really sticky. So this little piece will go a long way. So what you want to do is just put it over your vinyl and then take a scraper or even this. I have a roller here and I, I like this roller a lot better, not only because it's really easy to do, but because when I use it to put vinyl on my mat, 
I'm not scraping it and scratching it so it doesn't have the vinyl doesn't have scratches on it so once you have it on here I like to flip it upside down and then work backwards so I can see if anything comes up and you can just kind of push it down with your thumb and push anything back down on the transfer tape if it's coming up so they're just like that so we here we go we have cereal killer so you just want to take your bowl and then just kind of put it try and do this so you guys can see it Try to put it right center in the middle. Um, try not to go too far down because it has a little ridge on the bottom. So I'm trying to go right in the middle and make it nice and centered. So once you get it on like this, you just take your thumb and push on the vinyl. And it's okay if your vinyl or your transfer tape kind of, I don't know if it shows up bunches on the side here that's okay as long as your vinyl is nice and straight on here so you just want to take your fingers and get it on there and then carefully pull back the transfer tape leaving just the vinyl behind i love it what do you guys think you guys like this so far i really like it so the next part you want to do is take your hands and i already have this on the transfer tape because of the reverse weed again i do a video on that so if you want to see how to do a reverse weed it's going to save you so much time and anger I guess I was getting really upset about all this just because I couldn't do it so I have my first one I have they're kind of in the middle here so I'm gonna cut these two apart actually and put them separate from each other so I'm just gonna take the first one and kind of you put it wherever you want it doesn't have to be the same as mine but I might just put it over here a little bit just overlapping the R a little bit and then again just take your thumb and press it on really hard and then carefully peel back your transfer tape. And then the same with this one here. Kind of put it, it doesn't have to be like straight with each other. You can put it however you want. It's kind of the fun part about it. But now that I'm looking at it, what did I do guys? What did I do wrong? Can anybody tell what did I do? So this one is the wrong, this one's facing the wrong way. I want it to go the correct way. So I'm actually going to save this one and you know, I'm always honest, so if I make a mistake, I'm not going to uh, pause my video. I'm going to show you guys I made the mistake. So, very carefully, I'm going to peel up this red part. And the only reason it's coming up so easy now is because with vinyl and you're putting it on a surface, you have to let it cure for about 24 hours. Once this cures, this is not going to come up this easy. But because I made the mistake, I went ahead and pulled it off right away. So if you guys didn't catch that, I just put the wrong hand that way. So now I'm going to take the other one that I had and go ahead and place it where I want it. There. So like I said, I'm, I'm a very honest person. I show you guys if I make a mistake so you guys don't make the mistake I do. So you just want to make sure it sticks on really well. And like I said, this is a permanent vinyl. So it's going to come up fairly easy if you wash it or if you push on it or anything right now. You have to let it sit for the 24 hours and then it will be permanent. You will, you will not be able to get this off that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and actually find another pair of hands on here. So like I said, I have all of these and I'm going to cut it off of here and then just replace this one on this side here. See, I can't, even though it's homemade and you screw up on some things, I really can't, I could not leave it that way. There was, I, there's no way that would drive me nuts. Like my OCD would go crazy. So there's the second one. Again, just take your transfer tape and peel back, making sure you're leaving all those red parts of their hands. So there it is, just like that. So I have this one, then I have this one. So you place your hands wherever you want. And actually, again, to be honest with you, I didn't, want, didn't really like this cereal bowl part, so I don't think I'm even going to use these. You can if you want, kind of put it under it, but it's already in a bowl, so I really didn't see the need for it. So I'm going to finish this up and do a, a few more. Um, people will probably ask, do I seal this? I am not going to seal this. I know that there is um, Mod Podge out there that is um, dishwasher safe, but I don't like using that. I just tell people, you know, don't put it in the dishwasher, hand wash, don't soak it and don't put it in the microwave. So I always leave something in the middle just saying that to them. I think to finish this, I might actually go to the dollar store and just get a couple couple bags of cereal and put it in here and then I'll put it in a bag 
and then I can sell it that way. So I'll show you what it looks like in the end, but wasn't that really easy to create these? And they are kind of creepy if you think about it. <laughs> so I, again, I love Halloween. I love showing you guys how to do things. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned to see what it looks like when I'm all finished and have it packaged up. All right guys, how did I do? How did these turn out? I think they turned out amazing. I cannot wait to sell these at the stores that I'm at and gift a few of them myself and actually leave a few for my kids as well for when they start school and they have breakfast in the morning, they may get a kick out of it. I hope you liked this video tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and happy crafting everyone and ask any questions if you may have any.